It's Friday. I'm happy it's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> I'm happy it's Friday. Uh, got the car going again. Uh, yesterday we had a very busy day. Uh, Jim's Oldsmobile's sitting in the back background outside. Uh, Jim's, a, Jim's a cool dude, isn't he? It's funny, you know, the, wh what am I going to say? Um, the four or the five people you hang out with, you know, um, you're probably the fifth, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, I hang out with Jolene full time. Um, I say Jim is one of our friends. Um, Doug is most certainly one of our friends. Uh, and John Wilson was there. He's certainly my friend. And uh, I'm glad to be the fifth person of them four people, if that makes sense. Um, them four people um, represent who I'd like to be, sort of, I think. Um, everybody's got their own thing, but, um, yeah. Hang out with good people. Um, you'll, good things will, will happen. Uh, you hang out with, you know, uh, lost thoughts. Probably bad things will happen. But anyways, uh, it was a good video. I liked watching it yesterday. That was fun to watch, you know, just everybody mingling. Um, but today on this on this car here, on the Hot Wheels that we're making, uh, I'm going to try to... I'm going to cut this post out, and I'm going to try to fit some metal in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some metal out of the doors and try to finish these body lines off so they look right. So there's the body lines are obviously getting messed up right here on the where they turn up like that. We don't want that. We're not having this post. So I'm going to try to take it out. Uh, I took the back fender off. I got this welded up. And weld this on. I put it right underneath the molding, like I said I would. And then I just butt weld it down here on the wheel well. That looks good. Um, it's not connected at the bottom, but everything's fine. Got the roof welded around the back. I got a little time in on just you know trying to get some welding done. And the reason being is I just can't keep it all tacked together full time. I want to get some welding done as I tack it, so I do uh, run around it. And the way I will weld it is, bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. And then just continue on all the way around. And then I come back. And then by then it would be cool. Then I just hit it again all the way around. I just have a little circuit that I go on. It's almost like painting a car. When you paint the front fender and you go to the roof and whatever. When you go back in, you do the exact same process. So I find a, a process. And I weld it. And then I come back to the end and I start over again. And it's one spot at a time. I do not lay beads on the car whatsoever. Do not lay beads on the car. I spot it up one spot at a time. On, uh, on this, uh, everything's going good. Some of this, like most of the welds, like the roof has been butted on. This has been lapped on. This has been lapped here. Uh, the, the sheet of metal we put on the roof was lapped there. And the reason being is for, uh, it takes more time, more effort, uh, more people generally to get something butted and fit it and uh, that sort of stuff. And then when you do butt it and fit it and weld it, you still have to fill it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just kind of up, in the, up on the fence on that one. I don't mind doing the butt thing there. And we butted the roof on the front, obviously. We didn't overlap it there. Uh, but on the side, we, we lapped it. And I'm fine with it. I'll grind it off nice. There's a nice edge coming here so the filler can take that little bit and be fine. What I, like I said the other day, I said I'll put that just take a little bit of fill. And what I mean by that would take a little bit of fill is this is what I mean. It's nice to have, if you took your high spot, your two high spots, see, I'm the scissor. Your two high spots, that, that's the fill area right there. That's the fill area. That's where the fill goes and covers that weld. And I'm happy with that because when I flood it out, yes, I will flood it out, that the fill can sit right in that little gully there, and then it can, this can be the, where the, where the, the there. The bottom of the ocean. This can be the, the ocean floor. This can be, is what I'm trying to say. Um, just a little bit of fill on that, and it's nice how that fit. Exact same thing going on with this. I want to show the roof, what, what has gone on with the roof, and all we did is roll the roof. All we did is roll it. When we pushed it down, you, um, that metal still wants to come up. You take a piece of metal and you put it in a roller, you put it on the ground, you, push, you try to push it down, that metal still wants to come up. As we had that metal rolled and we pushed it down on that roof, when you cut that metal off, it would want to come up. And uh, that's what it's done. It's done a great job. On the front, the level is very nice. It's very nice. I like it. Got a little, little showing here and a little showing over there. That means the center's high, which is good. 
when I take it back, it gets, un, it gets unlevel. So what's going to happen is on this side over here, this side I like because we did a little bit of a bunch of work to it, but on this side over here, we're going to undo the, the, the spot welds and the self-tappers, and we're just going to push up a little bit and then reconnect it, and that'll take away from that. But as you can tell how flat that roof is and how nice that roof is across there, it does not fall. You know what I'm saying? We're nice and flat across the roof. There's no, no gully in it. We didn't put no nothing in it. We just put a nice piece of metal on it, and it went in very nice. On this side over here, like I said, I'm going to undo it, and I'm going to go on the inside, push up on the metal a little bit, and then do it again. Uh, if you can remember, I was pushing down on that quite hard to get that to go down on. So we're, all the weight was going down on that, and we might have pushed it down. We did push it down a little too far. I even cut it on this side. I even cut it on that corner. Remember, we laid it down on that side, put it down a little bit. And we're just going to have to undo it. And there's no big deal because it's not welded. It's just self-taffers over there. Undo it. On the inside, push up a little bit and reconnect it. Uh, on this corner... On this corner, we, I had to slice it a couple times to get the metal out of it. And the reason we had to shrink that corner, because if you can remember, that corner was up about yay high. It came it up quite high. The roof didn't lay down like this. We made it lay down like this because we wanted to make it look like this on the roof. The roof's got a, you know, it's got a nice flat looking roof on the thing. But anyways, as we got here, we had to take metal out of here to get that to lay down. Because that was shot right up there like that at one time. If you, if you can think about it at all, when you push that down, the metal, the metal has to go somewhere. So does it go over here or does it go over there? And that's where you get your buckles, if you know what I'm trying to say. When you start pushing that metal down, the metal's got to go somewhere. So as it went somewhere, we found it and we took it out and we shrunk it by zip cutting it and cutting it out and then putting it back together. So you can see how that's cut and put back together. And that feels very good. I just went inside and tapped it with a hammer a little bit. Watch your sweetheart. Jolene looks amazing this morning. Uh, and what I did, I didn't, I didn't weld that all in yet. Everything's going great. Just got to get to the other side. And it's going to take me and Jolene inside and outside. Like, she's probably going to have to get on the inside, to be honest with you, because I'm going to know how far I'm going to want her to push it up and that sort of stuff. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably end up taking a marker. That's what I'll do. I'll take a marker, go all the way around it. And then, and then when, the, when, the roof, when we push the roof up, we'll watch it come away from the marker. I will measure how far we want the roof to come up on that side. You know, there's, you know, quarter, eighth, whatever we want it to come up on that side. I will measure it, and then when we put the marker on it, when we push it up, it'll pull away from the marker. When I get my certain distance, I will weld it. And then we'll know that the roof is up where I want it to be. <clears throat> that's basically what I'm going to do there, and that's just... Me and Jolene. Uh, I'm going to, right now, the doors, like this has a post on here. We don't, I don't want this post. I'm not saying I don't want it. It's just we're not going to use it. We're going to put our own top of the doors on. So the car is even going to look chopped even more. Once we put the top of the doors on, it's going to make it look chopped even more. So we're going to cut this post out, gather these two lines up, get them going together, gather this up here. We don't want that going on there. We don't want that going on there. This is what we don't want right there. Right there, don't want that. And I'm not sure about this yet. There's another, we have a piece here that turns up. Not sure if I want to use that yet or not. We could, not sure yet. Just don't know yet. Anyways, um, that's basically what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to put a brace in here up to the roof there so it does not move or fall, which I can't see it doing that. Um, and then we'll cut this out. We'll replace this piece. We'll try to replace a couple pieces. And uh, we'll, get her, we'll get her time in. Jolene has so much time to film. And that's what we're going to do. Excuse me. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, piece of metal to hold that roof up. I'll just cut this in half and use one for one side and one for the other. I've got everything cleaned up a little bit before I start it. And that way there we'll start over again. Start over again. It really looks good with the roof in it. I'm real happy with it. Very happy with it. Uh, on in the end, like in the end, like when we get it all welded up, get it all ground up, and all that sort of stuff, there's going to have to be inner construction put inside that car. Like there's going to have to what I call integrity. I'm going to have to put some integrity inside that car, and uh, I will probably put some integrity uh, in the roof, down the posts, 
the window post. Um, there's going to have to be a post, uh, post here to hold the door post from opening and shut the door. Uh, it's going to be suicide doors. We're going to hinge it back here. It's going to be suicide. Um, but anyways, there's going to have to be a lot of inner construction put inside that car. There will be, there will be. It's a nice day out today. Got the 62 fixed. Thank you very much, Steve and Doug. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It had a clogged air filter. Uh, a couple spark plugs weren't looking so great. Looks like they were dumping fuel down through it. Uh, the timing was off. It has electronic ignition in it now. Uh, what else? The timing was off and changed power. But it's working good. Working good. Starts good. Works good. Goes through the gears good. Whoop, whoop. Loving it. All, all cylinders were all the same on compression. Got to like that. Huh. I'm going to weld that. I got to cut that off first. What am I doing? I'm losing my thought with my 62. Losing my thought. I cut this in half. I think Jim's car is going to be a good project because of this fact. This car needs the exact same thing what car, Jim car needs. This needs the exact same thing is the, is the integrity for the inside. And uh, Jim's car would be good, great practice, you know what I mean? Like, I know what I'm going to do. I do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm just sticking this up there so, on the roof so we can't go nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Just for shits and giggles. Now just holding it up tight on the roof. I can turn my gas on. I think it's gonna hold there. Huh, gas is on. I just hold, put that tight up to the roof, pushed it up tight and welded it. Should be fine. Should be fine. Just gonna take that post out now. Take that. Whoop, whoop. looking at that see if that can be a piece does it look different <laughs> it got it apart man i like the post in there to be honest with you i like the post didn't you huh i like the post but anyways this is what we're going to try to do i'm looking at this piece right here there needs to be a piece put in here let's get her rocking and rolling I'm gonna i should just get a mark going on first Yeah, if you want to know what kind of person you are, look around at your friends. And, and you know, your four friends or five friends or whatever you have or the most you hang around with. And you'll, and you'll be the sixth, fifth. <laughs> it's basically about it, eh? Um, but I'm very happy that uh, the friends I have. Paying attention what I'm doing here, eh? Placing that, that's a nice straight piece right there, isn't it? 
Ooh, that's a nice straight piece. I like it. Hmm. There's also, looking at this stuff, that piece on there, right where we cut that out, that's right where the post is. And to be honest with you, that is right where it goes like this. So I have to be careful on that because this, this, I can pull this out, push that in. You know what I mean? There's, there's obstacles of doing this. This piece here has the exact same mark, but I'm just wondering if it has any, it has some shape to it. See that there? It has some shape to it. So we could, it, the, the, the line must have a little shape to it, I guess. I'm going to cut it out of this. This one is straight, straight post. And this one here, it's got that on it. This has got this on it. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that this would be my bad boy right here. I'm just going to put that right in front of you, BB. Just like that. I'm going to measure that. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Where? Measure. I'm just going to measure my hand and cut it, but. Five and five eighths. So we'll cut it six and make it cut it down. And there's our round. We'll see. This has got a roundness here to it too. You can see. kind of fun to pick all the pieces out is like a scavenger hunt you know what I mean you have to take all the pieces and find what you need to make the car to work all right I'm gonna, I like this side here that seems fine and I'm just gonna cut it down now I guess cut it down make it work that's good and this piece here I will I will butt it in and the reason because is I don't want to get it laid out too far on the roof where it's welded here is laid over. When I put, bring the fill up, the fill can go over top of it like that nice. On this here, it would just build it out. You know, we'd have to fill the hole. You'd have almost to fill, you'd have to fill it right from there to there just by overlapping that there. You know what I'm trying to say. We got some big crows living in the dooryard. Wow, have me, baby. There's some big crows out there. Watch yourself, sweetheart. Oh, I'm getting closer. That's for sure. I like doing it this way, just trying to cut it and trying to get it to fit instead of trying to get the perfect measurement. It's just nice to, if I find it just as easy this way as to do it that way. Um, uh, 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 a little bit. Take a little smidgen off her.
Come on, girl. Right there. Just a little bit more. That's okay, as long as I don't cut it too short. That's all we're worried about. And I'm not really worried about that a whole lot because I get a coat hanger. All right, I'm going to have to coat hang here in a little bit. It's not straight for there for me. Get it in place. Then I can trace the top and cut that out. So now I got this cut here. Now in order to get it bot welded in, I don't know how much I want cut out. Yeah, it's not even really a little bit, I guess, but it's okay. I get a little bit of a turn down there, but I grind her up, it'd be fine. So I'm just gonna fit that in there. Trace at the top. And then I'll know what to cut out, how I'm gonna butt it in there. So here we go. Put that more out. Just a little bit. I keep saying that, same, okay? but it's always every, it's always there in everything I do. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. run the zip cut through it again once I get it on there but what I'm saying I want just a little bit more I want this this edge right here to fit nice you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack that edge in and go right over top with the zip cut thing because it just really seems to be I'll get one more shot here And, that's, and this is how it takes longer to butt weld something in than it does overlap. So I could overlap that no problem, but to butt weld something in, it takes a little more time. <laughs> I see, I see, this is, this, is what I, this is what I know for sure. As I do this, as I put this piece in here, and I, and I butt weld it in, and then I grind it so you can't see nothing, you really must have to wonder what is left if I do that. I don't, like I leave the weld there, you can see the weld. I've re-welded that. Um, I've left the weld there, you can see the weld there. The weld there weren't really nice, but if you're, you know, 
If you're watching or you're, you're watching or you're seeing somebody grind it off so you can't even tell that there's been a patch put on there, <laughs> if you touched it with a hammer or if you did like anything wrong, um, your work would be gone. It'd be gone. I will be able to come in here and like, I, I hit this with a hammer this morning. I just tapped it around and hit it with a hammer. I, I can hit on the weld just as hard as I want to and not break it a bit. But if I start grinding that all off, so you can't tell that I weld it there just because I want it to look a certain way, you're, you're playing with fire. Watch yourself, sweetheart. I gotta pick that up. You're playing with fire when you're, when you're grinding stuff off like that, and you're given a false pretense. You're given a false pretense because you're taking off more metal than you've just put on, and uh, there's no strength or integrity in what's whatsoever. To grind all the weld off to make it look like it's not there, your, your penetration would have to be perfect. Um, wow. So my suggestion is get it in there, grind the head of the weld off. If you cannot get, you know, if it does not look perfect, that's fine. You have to fill it anyways. But if, if, I, if you go to grinding that, so you cannot see it there anymore, like you can see the edge of the weld on there, I do not grind that anymore because if I start grinding it down to the edge of the metal and I start going on the car, then I'm taking weld away from the car, metal away from the car. And if I'm in that kind of guy that I want to impress or make something that really is not true, I can grind that so you cannot see that. I guarantee I can. I know I can. But what will I have when I'm done? Nothing. Like, the integrity is gone. Like, you're, you're really defeating the purpose of fixing a car if you're going to tear it all, take it all away. In my opinion. And that's just like a belly button. Show your welds. Be happy. Don't be scared. I'm not. Now, it's up in there a little bit. I can. Zip. This one's flush, but that there's got to be zip cut a little bit. Just going really easy on the on the spots, just because it'll want to burn through. Exactly. That tells you exactly the same thing. If you're if you're able to burn through really quick, if you're if you're butting it, just imagine when you start grinding it. Same thing. I'm gonna hit that with a hammer. I'm going to pull that out and zip that up there a little bit, just a little, just a little bit. Beautiful. She's up playing with fire this morning, even got my gloves on, man. It's Friday! I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, we're going to give a hat away today by the Skinner Ass. 503 comments. Woo! Close one. I'd give her to you, anyways. With me, baby. Huh? We like the crowd that we hang around with, don't we, baby? Huh? Got the paint for John's air station yesterday. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Got your paint, John. Got your paint. Can't paint it without paint. Ah, just want, I want to get the center up there. I want to get it flash before I weld it. Now, when I just sat that just easy and lightly, I can feel that move with, with, it, with the heat. You really can. Hard to believe, but you can. Also, um, some, I don't know who made a comment about you got to start from the frame up. I am. Frame table. <laughs> same, 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 you know, that's what it's for. The frame tables to, to hold it down so you can get it straight as possible. And uh, I have gotten them crooked. Yes, I have. And the reason I know is because I've done it. But what I'm saying is once you get a frame table, you start knocking it down, then you can straighten it up, right? With a... I got the level on there, the table's level, I can level that up and push it, whatever. Anyways, I can stand back and take a look at that. This has got to be dollied a little bit. That's going to be poked up in the air a little bit, I think. Looks good, though. Does it look like it's coming down at all, does it?
That don't look good there, does it? Somewhat. Somewhat. I'm going to hit it with a hammer for a second. Don't like hitting things with a hammer, but I'm going to. I'm just going to stick the dolly in behind it, too, so. Now she's looking better. Block this one down here. Alrighty, I'm just gonna pluck some weld on it, clean it up. Smell my gloves burning, can't you, baby? Yeah. I'm taking. And something like that, you have to look at it from all. All different spots to see if it's looking right or not. Once I clean that up, I think a little bit of the welds throwing us off, a little bit of this. Once you get it cleaned up together, it'll be fine. Pop that one in, and that'll be butted in. I'll take an air hose and go over that. I want to do this one. I want to do this one. And this is what you got to do when you're going around it, I guess. And I can hammer and dolly that a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. This one in here, I guess. It's right there. I may as well use it. I'm going to take that. All this is going to be, we'll use uh, square tubing we'll or channel. We'll cha make a channel, put glass in the back. We'll have a thin little post here. So it's going to look like a hard top. There was no such thing as a hard top in the, in the 30s. Hard top never came out until, I think, 51, I think, for Ford. 51 Ford, I think, had a hard top. And what I mean by hard top, no post. No post. Make sure I'm cutting the car here. I just want to make sure what I'm doing here is turning right. You know what I'm saying? This is all propped up here from pulling the wood out, so uh, don't get. I said it already, but it's Friday. I want to thank everybody on the YouTube. Um, I want to thank everybody. I've got a, a few engines around here. I've got a 327 over there. We've got a 348 over there. Um, we've got a Jaguar engine that Doug's been playing on. Could put anything in it, couldn't I, baby? Huh? For a, for a power plant. <laughs> I didn't spare any, did I? Ha <laughs> ha! He didn't spare any. 
Just cut that off there. Right below that line, we should be good. You didn't spare any. Doobie doobie. And all this stuff will have to be capped off when the door comes flying open, eh? It'll all have to be capped off when the door comes flying open. there I like that we'll get that cut off a little more so we can butt that on there I don't know where the I'm gonna actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw that on just like I did the last one <laughs> there's a funny story on the internet this morning when we woke up you know and it relates to me and my daughter I told my daughter I said uh, you know you're a young lady and um, I'm gonna tell you something about young boys they do not like their hat token and, th and thrown away or hidden or what. I know that um, you're showing attention and that sort of stuff, but um, young fellas usually don't like it when a girl would take their hat, I guess. It would be exact same as something else, but it was some funny to watch <laughs> grown men <laughs> do high school stuff. Wow, crazy. Go for it. <laughs> Made me laugh this morning, I can tell you that. Did it, baby. It made me laugh. I gotta get to work here and finish this. I'm just trying to make it the best I can. And that's just by taking too much time. Laugh and worry about something that doesn't matter. <laughs> Funny. All right, I'm gonna cut that down there, cut that over there, cut that down there, and put that on there. Well, half the hat and it has to go on that one and we have to do one up there. I guess my theory was proven this morning, wasn't it, baby? <laughs> yeah, my theory was proven. Where's my piece at? Come on, man. My piece. My piece. My piece. There we go. There we go. Just gonna knock that in there a little bit. Ah! I'll weld that in there, and then I can straighten it up with the grinder on that edge. Weld it in there, straighten the grinder on that edge. Straighten this out a little bit, I see it's bent. And the dolly, the dolly is more, more so. It does not have to be exactly behind where I want to straighten. All it has to do is behind there to hold the metal from coming back at you, you know? They're holding it and put tension on it. That's all it has to be done. I don't know if you noticed or not, but I generally don't hit the car a whole bunch with a hammer. I do not, do not, do not. And the reason being is it's called damage. I will hit it if it's necessary. Now this will all have to be bent down. I'm gonna not worry about that right at the present moment because I'm busy. I'm gonna put this little piece in. 
I'm going to clean that up, clean that up. Play that line a little bit. That line looks like it tucks down there a little bit. I'm gonna have to play with that a little bit. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And everything on this car has to be played with. This is not something that I'm putting together that is not that is perfect. No, that's not true. That's not true. I'm placing this car together the best I can, the best I can, on this on this little table as quick as I can to satisfy myself. And that's it. We're still butted up there. Good, good, good. Whole wheat shreddies. Good time to laugh. I don't know if that's up there a little bit. And this stuff is going to be very difficult to... Not very difficult. No, it's not going to be difficult. It's just going to be, you know, you're going to... Some of the stuff is going to be... Oh, I like this right here. To really make that look perfect, it's the, the filler is going to be the one to make that look perfect. Mr. Phil, that guy, you know, Mr. Phil, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And I just sliced it. I wanted to bring it down a little bit, just sliced it, knocked off the welds, and push it down. I only got tacked on the side there. Let's go for it. We'll leave it as that. So we got that one in. So we got... Cool, eh? I think it's cool. And I'm just going to go around and give each one a spot. Go around spot like I could do the roof now. I don't think you need to watch me, but I would do the roof like that as I get these pieces all in, and then I can just keep going. And there, there will be no stopping while I'm welding. It just continuous right around the circles until it's done. Until it's done. I like that piece on there. This stuff has to be fixed, but I, I like that on there. I like the looks of it. I like the looks of it. And pull that out a little bit to the door. You know what I'm saying. French fry. Get that welded on there nice. Grind it up nice. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. That's just going to play with my eye for a while anyways, I think. This one here. That one there has got a lot of wood right there. I don't know. If I can get that off. What am I talking about? I dig that off. Um... I'll leave the wood right in there. I need another piece of this. 
That's going to get rolled in there. That's going to have to get cut off. You can see how this is pieces rolled in. Uh, this is not, hasn't got a roll, and I can't roll it in over top of that squareness, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to cut a little bit off. Nothing let go, I hope. Hope not. Got her held down on the frame table. That's why we're able to do what we're doing. That's, you know, if it was not held down on the frame table, um, it, it would take off on you and uh, you'd have a hard time. Or it's not even, it's, you know, it's, it's four pieces of I-beam welded together so you can hold your car straight. It's basically, it is nothing else, nothing more. <laughs> Take a little bit more, honey. We're doing okay for now. Let's, we'll grab another piece. Grab another piece. Looking good, eh? Huh? Make me smile. Make me smile. Um, I got a piece of the door over there, don't I? I put that. Where did I put that? Right there. Behind you. There it is, baby. I need to top the door. So I'll just might as well take this one, I guess. Rubbing it over like I, yeah, like I need it. And that is a four and a half inch piece. We want five inches. We want five inches. There's a different thickness here to there. So I'm going to try to grab it, you know, it's quite thin there, actually. Might be the better up there. Give 
myself a pat down. <laughs> That's where I want to cut it off, just tracing it more or less. You know what I'm saying? I got to cut the back off to get it down over this mofo. And this is some of the games you got to play when you're building a car, you know. Find that piece. Down nice now. Oh, I'd love her. <sighs> Have to get something. Take a little wood out of there. Take a little more. And then we'll get her down and load it on. Take that in my mouth so you understand me. Taking a little more out of that so we can shove it down on further, that's all. if I can. Here we go. Here we go. Now we'll draw a line on that. I want to straighten this one out first. It's not straight. Let's cut it out. <laughs> Too fast for my own good, see? Too fast for my own good. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Geez, we're still, <laughs> we're still down. I think what I'll do, okay, I'll draw another line. Do it again. I gotta get it. Thought, no, it seems bright. It seems perfect. Trust me, sweetheart. I love you. What line didn't match? Where? What line? This one? Oh, did I? Oh, geez, I would have I screwed that up, boys. She's a good thing she straightened me out. She straightened me out. Yeah, all right, good enough. Sounds good. I'm going with Jolene. She's better looking than I am. It's true. Put this head down here, right here. All right, all right, let's blow that bad boy on there, make her into something. Watch yourself again, sweetheart. 
Don't want to see you go down. I'll be the first one on top of you. <laughs> Jesus. I mean to help you out. Get that line on, don't I? This here can be dollied down or played with. That line is critical, is it not? I'm going to have to put a little macho camacho on that. I'm bringing it up just a little bit. Thing, bad thing. I'm going to run the zip, cut through it again. There's no line there. Get. Trying to make it fit the best we can, that's all. That's all we're doing. And that's just taking a little time trying to match it up. Feeling flush there now. We got a little whoop de doo on the door here, I see. We're, we banged in here and stretched a little bit, but we're up here, so I guess that's none of our concern, is it? What somebody else is doing, is it? None of our concern, is it, baby? <laughs> none of our concern. Spot, spot. Doo -doo. Very thin, very thin. Sun coming out, what's going on? Whoop, whoop, watch that door behind you, sweetheart. That looks okay. I've got to do a lot of work here, though, trying to get that down and get that in place. But that's, that's time that I'll do on my own time, I guess, beating and pounding. So I wonder if I should go for one more, huh? Got time for that? Yeah, what time is it? 59, she's so fine, my 59. We'll just leave it as that. But you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut another strip out of this thing, probably, out of the door, do the exact same thing. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up. It looks like it's pretty well in there somewhere. So then when this comes in here like this, like this piece, it comes over, squares off here. And I can run it right up to here. Then I can run my channel right on the inside of that where the window is supposed to go in. The channel will be inside, welded on the inside of this metal and it'll go up all around all the way around and fit onto the door. Don't know if it's coming up or going down, don't know yet. With the door the way it is, perfect opportunity to tear the wood out of it and you have all, you can see everything um, if you don't want to do something like that. But uh, that's what's going on right at the present moment. Now what I'll do is I'll go around each spot I will eye it up, eye it up, eye it up, eye it up, cut it, weld it, whatever, 
grind it, not going to grind all the material off, just the weld. Um, yeah, I'll just beat and pound it until it's where, the where I want it. If there's not enough metal somewhere, I'll take some ram rod and I'll add some metal to it or make it look better and grind. You know, if I feel like I have to weld a little bit up in this line and grind it off to make it look good, I will. If I have to hit it with a hammer and dolly it, I will. And that's, you know, basically it. You do and what, you, what is necessary and uh, cruise on from there. There's different thicknesses I see of this metal. The door one I got well. It's really nice how the thickness is here to the thickness here. I see this one's a little narrow, but this still can be cut off here to match up. We're fine. This has got to be rolled down. Everything's good. Uh, we have to give away a hat. Let's give away a hat. We got the draw. We got the computer. I'll run and get it. Come out and take a look outdoors. Man, it's some nice out. Do you want me to run, sweetheart? All right. Jolene's got the door locked. Ha ha ha. No one's screwing up her film, huh? Got the 62 back. What a beautiful day, eh? All right, baby, I'll right back. Take a look around. Take a look around. Oh, man. It smells good. If this weather here doesn't make you want to drive an old car, I don't know what would. But we got her fixed up. We got to get the. We got it registered yesterday. We got paid the taxes on her and got her in my name. Now, if they catch me, they can blame it on me. <laughs> Come on, in, sweetheart. Let's give away a hat to a happy follower. That thing's looking mean, I'm telling you, with the roof in it. I like it with the roof on it. The roof in it, it's going good. Going awesome. Going awesome. Love it. Love it. Are you going to do the computer thing now? You want me to do anything? Just sit here and look pretty? Yeah. Yeah. That's hard to do for me, isn't it? That line looks a little off on top there. We'll see. Russian? No. You're Canadian. <laughs> She's a hard top now, boys. She's a hard top. Hope we get over 500 comments. 488. Yes, you gotta give away. We're a big sucker. Come on. Let's give away a hat. We're going through this trouble. We've got to give away a hat. Come on. Mark. Duca. Yeah. Okay. Jim, Jim is quite the talker. He loves to talk about times past. I think he's a lonely guy and enjoys visitors. Yes. Um, I would say maybe that too. But most of all, um, I like Jim's truth. Jim takes time to make sure that he explains what he thinks is the truth. If you know what I'm saying, I enjoy that about him. And uh, I, he's my earth angel. I, I really feel like he's not in this world to harm or, or anything to anybody. Um, he's very much a down to earth, truth telling, um, enjoyable person to be around with his enthusiasm. Um, yeah, and that's why I enjoy him. I was talking about that earlier about um, to, you know, pick, get your four friends or your five friends, and you have to you have to reflect. You're the, you're the fifth, you know. As Jolene is my, you know, my friend, and Doug and Jim and and uh, John, you know, I'm happy. 
I'm happy where I'm at. And if you do not reflect about that stuff, you know, it's just something that you can look at and uh, you can change your ways if you want to or you can, you know, everything's going great. doesn't matter. I'm just saying that the people that you hang with, generally you're the, you're the fifth, sixth, or the fourth or whatever you are. Um, don't want to um, offend anybody, but sometimes you have to reflect. Have a good one. It's Friday. And today, reflect tomorrow because it'll be easier when you're laying in bed suffering <laughs> after a good Friday. Alrighty, have a good one, everybody.